Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Well this here right here, this motor right here that we're working on is the uh, KE100. It still has the KM100 jug on it, so I'm going to change that all out. But um, this um, motor right here is the uh, KE100 motor. It's going on that green bike that you saw in the previous video to this. The one that did a walk around, it's missing the engine. That's this one right here. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of things with you, and I like to do these videos because whenever I come across a problem, I like to show them off to you, and um, it can affect your bike quite substantially, okay? So, sitting here before you is a points plate. Um, it's a KE100 motor, but I have, so I'm just adjusting my camera here. Um... I have the points plate is from a KD80, okay? Same plate, same ignition, but you might notice there's two coils missing, the charge coils. Because this bike has no lights on it, I don't need to have those two coils there. So this is the coil right here for your, elect for your um, this coil right here is for your ignition, okay? You see this felt right here? I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit more. See if I can change the angle. Do you see the brown right on the tip? That's burnt. Okay. That That is burnt on the felt. Um, whenever you have something like that, you're going to want to clean that off. What happens is, when people put the points in, and the condenser, which is right here. That's the condenser. That's your points. Whenever you do those and you pull that mag off, you're supposed to lubricate this. This is why I like the electronic ignitions because there's no maintenance. That's part of your maintenance right there. Basically what you're going to do is take some oil and lubricate it until it soaks in a little bit. Okay? Real simple. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need to soak the whole thing down. But you want to have a little bit of absorption on it. On it. If it can't absorb the oil, you need to replace that felt. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why is that so important? Well, I cut up a flywheel because I like to make tools every now and then. And I happened to drop a flywheel on the ground and I broke the magnet. Um, not a big deal. Um, I've got a ton of them. So I was able to cut, take the, um, the center part of it off. You can see I scrubbed the line in there for the timing mark. And what I did was I just ground it off the off the um the we call it the, the rivets that hold it on the magneto. Now the magneto may be junk, but they come in handy because now I could put that on there like so. Rot it's gotta rotate counterclockwise until my timing line the timing mark here lines up with the timing mark there. And now I can adjust my points right here without having to go through the little window. I like to make cool tools like that. It's kind of one of my, my things. Um, so what I would do is I'd put the nut on there. To, I'd snug it up. Put it on there just as if it was a flywheel. Because this cam that's on here... That's the cam that opens and closes your points. And the felt has a ride on there. Now I wanted to show you guys. This is one of the things you guys, I want you guys to look for on your bikes. I don't think you really see enough. There's a lot of pitting. It's like braille. It's not smooth. You can see the shiny areas where it's smooth. And then you can see the part where it's not so shiny. And I cleaned this up already. See right there where it's nice and shiny? That's good. See where it's dull? That's bad. So, you're probably asking yourself, okay, what does that do? All right, so this right here is part of your flywheel. That's the centerpiece right here, okay? So when the flywheel spins, this cam, which is, it's, it's actually, if you look, see right here where the groove is? Oh, yeah, see there's no groove right there? That's the high spot. And it goes down to low where it's where the uh, the gap is closed. 
Then it starts to lift up again right there where there's no cam lube. I mean, where there's no uh, groove right there. See it? That's how it's cut. All right. So, what happens is when this surface, oh, yeah, you go, you can see it good now. See where it's all rough? That chews on the bottom piece of the points, wearing them out. All right. So that's why you have premature wear on your points. If you have to change your points often, and or you keep losing spark, it's probably the lobe, the cam lobe, that is worn out and is taking out your points. So realistically, when it is shiny, okay, on the shiny surface, how it's supposed to look, that felt wipes it clean and puts an oily film on it lubricates it so when it lifts up right here it's getting a good lift you follow what i'm saying so that felt is lubricating the tip over here so it doesn't wear out what happens is if you don't lubricate that felt and this thing is spinning at thousands of rpms it's cooking the bottom part of this tab Changing your points gap. And that's why you constantly have to redo your points. You either have to A, replace them, or B, you have to keep adjusting them. So it's very important when you do points to lubricate that felt and make sure your flywheel is not pitted. If it is pitted, you need to replace it. Um, if you sand it down... So there's no pits. You might end up. You might end up. Um, depends upon how much you take off. I mean, if you go over it a few times with some with some uh, 600 grit sandpaper and it comes out nice and smooth, you're all right. But if you really have to get in them, I mean, you can see the pitting on that thing. It's awful. And basically, what happens is moisture gets in there. It gets rust on this from sitting, and then your felt dries up and there's no oil on it, like you saw. Alright, <clears throat> so what did we learn today? Make sure there's no pitting on your cam. Make sure that the felt is nice and um, lubricated. And um, that's pretty much it for that. So make sure your felt is lubricated, your, your um, magneto was not pitted. Okay, because it will wear out your points. Now, this point right here, you can, I want to show you this. Okay. This is another thing that's going to affect your timing. There's a lot of timing issues with these bikes. And I try to touch base on carburation, uh, ignition, all these type of things, okay? I have to replace these points because they're worn out under here. If you look at the tab, it's at an angle. All right? It's, it's just worn funny. But when you push push up on the points, watch watch how long. I'm going to take my finger away. Watch how long it takes to come down. Let me help it. See how it just snapped at the end? So it'll close, open and close, but it, it, it stays up. That means that there is rust on this pin on the inside. And what that does, it might move, but it doesn't react properly. So that right there can actually make it feel like there's a carburetor issue when it does that, when it goes back and forth. If it doesn't go back and forth smoothly, It'll sputter, it'll hesitate, it, it won't have um, good spark, you can follow spark plugs. And believe it or not, points can actually make you feel like you have a carburetor issue on these bikes. I've had a couple of them where, you know, it just did it every now and then, and I thought that there was some gunk in the uh, in one of the jets, and um, it turns out the, the carburetor was so clean I was I was completely impressed. So I ended up um I said, geez, I mean I looked at the points, the points looked alright. So I spun the engine over. Of course you're looking through that little window. This is why it's a good idea to pull the flywheel off every now and then. And if you do pull it off, don't hammer on it, get the tool. Okay. So once again it goes back to getting moisture in there and then the uh points 
you know, lock up, seize up. So you'd have to put a, a dab of oil on that uh, pin and work it in. These points are shot. I'm not going to use them. I'm just showing you. See? Now it's moving. Before it stay up. But it's still hesitating. So, I mean, it would need a lot of lubricant. It's not worth lubricating. Replace them. When you get to do one, put a dab of oil on the pin here and on the back side there and forget about it. Make sure you felt this oil. You don't have to go crazy. You don't need oil coming out the bottom of the bike. You just need a couple of drops of oil on the felt. Go right over to it with this. Go right on top. One. Two. Get right across the top. Paint it. So it absorbs into the top part of the felt. If you have... Um, what do you call it? If you have a, if it's really burnt, you can scrape off the top if the felt is good. All right, that's okay. You can just take a knife and like a utility knife, brace blade, and just chop that piece of brown part off, and so it's nice felt that's rubbing against it. It's designed for that. And then, of course, if you get a chance to make one of these handy dandy tools, it's easier to adjust your points with these. Bring it right around. I took the flywheel key off, by the way. I might actually turn the engine over. That's the other thing about this. I can just put this on there and open and close it. And right now, the point, the points are barely hitting it. Hold on one second. Just trying to adjust here. It opening. Doesn't open much. Right here, you see it's opened and closed. Open. And I'm looking right here at this gap part. Right here. Oops, sorry. Watch it. Down. Up, down, up. Okay, when it's all the way up is when you would adjust your points, and um, which is pretty cool. So that's how it works. Okay, so when it opens, it fires. Okay, so when every time it opens up, the spark ignites, and that's pretty much it. Crazy. That's just how it is. It breaks. It breaks it, and then it opens. It uh, sparks. So anyway, I figured I'd give you guys a little demo on how that is and how that works and what to look for on your points. Make sure you um, you lubricate it. Make sure you lubricate your felt. Make sure you check for your. Uh, make sure there's no pitting on this. You got pitting on that. It's not going to work right, and then you're gonna you're gonna end up replacing your points. A few months down the road. And, um, what do you call it there? Yeah, it's just not a good idea. I, I went over the points. I have a points video on there already, how to, how to adjust them. I just wanted to go over this right here. This is going to be the um, KE100 motor. This is the one that had the locked up transmission. So, pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for right now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments. By all means, send them my way. Remember, lubricate.